Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Yekshire Outdoors. Today we are carp fishing. Our friends Christian and Brandy are down from Pennsylvania. They never caught one before. So I've been pre baiting the spot for a couple days and uh, we're out here. We're gonna see if we get them on some fish. Fish on. Oh no! Was it drag too tight? Oh man, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Dang it. Oh, you know what? It broke the whole rig off. I have no sinker or anything. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, nice clean break. You took everything. We're re-rigging and trying again. It is possible we got some buffalo in here instead of carp, which is fine. They're fun to catch too, but the little ones, you kind of have to set the hook on them because they don't really ever run. So you don't ever really know if they're there or not without setting the hook. So I'm sitting here waiting to see if this line gets tight again. If it does, I'm gonna set the hook. It's time to rebate anyway, so. Just kind of taking advantage of the opportunity. If it ever happens. But all three of the rods have been doing it, so. That was waves. That was fish though. Yeah, that was bad. Uh -huh. It was bad. I sh that was a rookie mistake. Oh, that was a huge rookie mistake. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. You hold that in the Yeah, right. I the tree too, by the way. That's, that's fine. It means we still got bite indication. All right. I'll start reeling a little bit. No, I got oh. I got to untangle it first before it becomes a wind knot. Oh. That was bad. Okay, yeah, now reel. Why does it feel so weird? Because the bale's catching your... All right, let me have it, please. All right, you're still touching my tree, my love. What I should have done was pinch the line against the rod and lift up. Yep, there's fish. Fish, fish on <laughs> from a blooper to a fish on. Sweet. I do think he probably has a buffalo. He's running across the other line, feels like. Yep, he's another line. <laughs> Happy accident, yeah. Oh. Honestly, it's heavy, it feels heavy. Could be very well be a buffalo.
Go ahead and reel that one inch in. I think it's him stuck in it, but. Oh, never mind then. Yeah, I think he's. Yeah. Well, if he's way tangled, that would explain why he feels heavy. <laughs> There's the sinker. Oh, sweet, he's past the line. Yeah, I don't think he's in it anymore. That's fine. No, he's definitely in it still, no matter how's wrong. That's definitely a buffalo. I definitely, I think it's a buffalo. Uh, oh, it's a big buffalo, jeez. Yeah, it looks like he's wrapped in one. Oh, did I snag him? He snagged, that's what it is. Jeez, <laughs> I got him hooked by the tail fin on, the fin on top of his back. Wow. Uh, hang on. Yes. Uh, actually, you know what? Not going to grab him at all. You hold on for it. You know what? Yeah. Let me try to untangle this other rig. How do you get him in the top fin? Remember how I said that uh, they play with it and play with it and play with it? Uh -huh. He uh, probably. Wow. Tangled. This is yeah, it out. is. A lot. Uh, give me the net. Here's the net. Oh. No, 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 come on, come on, come on. I can get you in the, if I get you safe, okay. Oh. This is a smallmouth buffalo. It's obviously sick. It's got some infectious sores and stuff, so I'm not really gonna handle it much. I'm not even gonna weigh it because I don't want to get it out of the water more than I have to because they're gonna be stressed out from being sick. So we are not gonna weigh it. I don't want to stress out too much. I'm guessing he's probably 15, 16 pounds. But yeah, I'd rather get him out. Oh, hang on. No, he's pretty lively. We can weigh him quick. We'll weigh him quick. I'm not gonna get out and hold him though. No, no. Uh, you want to hold him on the net? Okay. Put it that way. Yeah, it was dad made the guy made this. Told me I needed to do that oh, yeah, because they're doing it. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Is zero. Is zero. I just checked. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. Twenty. Twenty-three point two two minus two and a half pounds. That's twenty-one pound fish. Twenty-one pound buffalo. We are gonna go ahead and release them. Uh, hang on, bud, hang on, hang on. And then I'm gonna wash up because I don't wanna be uh Alright, he's strong enough to swim away. He'll probably be alright. I'm definitely gonna send some pictures onto some forums though for the local resource department. In case there is a breakout going on, because that was pretty bad. But yeah, hey fish fact while i'm sitting here doing this let me show you guys what we're using today what? we are using a oh. hair rig got a piece of fake corn uh boiled feed corn this is a size four curve shank hook i'm sorry this is a size six actually and then this is what's called a coated braid material they sell it over in europe it's just literally braid with a, a coating on it that doesn't get cut in the sh uh, shells and rocks and stuff costs a little bit more but is a lifesaver Obviously, you're going to use mono instead. And then I'm just using a, in between a one and a half or a three ounce sinker. It's pretty much my standard go-to for on the lake. I use at least a three when I'm fishing on the river. But we're just rigging it Carolina style. Sinker first, then a bead. Sinker first, then a bead. And then uh, 
just a uni knot through the swivel is what I prefer to do. I guess that fish didn't hook up. But that's what we're using. And I'm putting a little uh, PVA mesh bag of sweet feet on it when I throw it out. And you've seen those in other videos of mine. And uh, yeah, seems to be at least getting attention. Got that one buffalo so far. I did snag him. He was playing with the stuff when I went to reel and I hooked the, hooked the side of his fin. So, but it is a fish still and we're still fishing. So we'll see if we can get some more fish. This is the PVA mesh bag. It's got sweet feed and cracked corn in it. And we're just hooking that in right there. I just like using this as, a, as opposed to a pack bait because uh, pack baits, you have to actually get the consistency darn near perfect in order to get any kind of distance out of it. And this, I can cast as hard as I want. It's not going to come off as long as it doesn't get wet. So, and then it dissolves in the water, opens up, and you have a little pile of bait around your hook. So, yeah, we're going to get this line out and get back to fishing. Oh, did it come off? No, okay, good. I was about to be upset. <laughs> oh. Oh, I had to catch up with the sinker. Nope, that's a different one. Yeah, Reel it in. Flip the switch. And there you go. There's a fish on here. Oh, it's pulling good, dude. Yep. This one might be a turtle. Fish on here. Is it good? Yeah. He's a carp. You don't you don't yank them really hard, right? Right. You let them fight. Oh, there's a snake. Huh? A snake right there, someone across. Oh my god. It's like I'm pulling at a catfish. This one's this was snagged or something. Dang it. You're okay, you're okay. You're doing it right. You're doing it right. Yeah, that's fine. You're doing right. You're good. Lost this one. Definitely lost this one. That's right. I should if I'd have been over here instead of trying to film B-roll. I I know. You're doing good. Uh, try to keep the rod tip down a tiny smidge. Yeah, down a little closer to the water. Uh, I say that because, pop no, okay. I mean they will, but the point is because you don't want to go over or under the other line. Oh, right, 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 right. We'll deal with this one in a minute. You want to keep going, I'm going to take over. Go ahead, I'm you're fine. Going. Go ahead, do it. Gently yep, real torque. Yep, yep, you're doing good. You're doing good. I'm gonna lift this one up because he's under this line. I'm really looking for a little by the way. Who? 
you've not caught one in a long time, so you wouldn't know the difference. Anthony? What? He's 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 coming. Keep going. Yeah, he's right there. See? It's a carb. It's gold. Good. I'm gonna get close to the water. That's fine. Oh, sorry. I'm just trying to not lose the fish by getting too much slack. You're okay. Spot and good. Yeah. You're doing good. Let the rod do his job. Yep. <laughs> Carp one, Shana zero. Not that I can, not that I can say much. I lost mine too. All right, fish on, Shana. I'm gonna just let it play for a minute. Yep, that's fine. Down a little bit. I say, yeah, try to angle it right that way. It's the size of the line. That alarm finally went off. Must not have had a good connection. All right, are you good? Yeah, what do I do? Just... Uh, you see, can you back away, reel towards him, reel towards him, reel towards him, and then pull slowly. And like I said, don't pull forcefully like you're doing, do it slow. Here you go. And then now, give him the, when, he, when he starts pulling really hard, give him a little bit of rod. Like, here you go. Um, yep. Okay. And when he pulls back, when he pulls back this way again slowly, if you want you to get back over here, that's just start reeling again. Okay. Shannon's still figuring out how to cart fish, so I will be talking her through this fight. You're doing good. You're doing good. It's fine and hard. Yep. Yep. Yeah, down towards you. All right. Our alarm actually didn't go off. I don't. I, we didn't have a good contact, but we heard the reel going off. But not the not the, the alarm. So. Over there. Yep. All right. Go ahead and pull up a little bit. Okay. Stop pulling. All right. Pull up. Uh, pull, nope, hang on. There you go. Yep. There you go. You got it. With these bigger carp, especially when you use the stiffer rods, like these are actually catfish rods. Good. They're shorter. I didn't want to bring out the eleven or the twelve footers because of the trees. Um. You have to play the fish more. Let them kind of let. Them, that's fine. Keep pulling up. Yeah, hit. it's probably a buffalo. Attacking like a buffalo. Yep. Help. Oh, nope. Now slack off a little bit. Carp have a soft mouth. For you guys that don't know, so it's very easy to pull the hook out of their face. Pull up again slowly, and when you get up, then you reel down towards them. And then slowly pull up again, and if he starts pulling back, you know, obviously give him more of the ride back. There you go. You got it. Now he's actually out in front of you at an angle towards those uh, that rocky face over there. So if you want to go ahead and maybe try to turn the ride back the other direction while you're doing this also. Try to keep me yeah, try to keep him, go, so instead of going side to side, try to have him come straight at you. He scared another fish <laughs> with him. That's pretty funny. All right, go ahead and pull towards me. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Here you go. And reel towards it. Do it again. Did it come off? No, it didn't. Oh, if I say. I think. Okay. Yeah, it's still there. Okay. Real, all right, go ahead and reel a little faster. Not a lot faster, but like, there you go. And then pull slowly. You don't want to give these fish any slack. She thought she lost the fish for a second because she gave it slack. All right, now pull straight up instead of sideways. There you go. And then slowly reel down. Do it again. All right, there you go. Keep going. You're doing good. Doing good. All right, now he's going more to the left, so I'm gonna angle around to the right. There you go. He's gonna have at least one more long, hard pull, so be ready for that when that starts happening. Let him take the rod. You know what I'm saying? She's doing good, guys. She's doing good. Let's see if we can get her. Oh, she's almost inside the line. Go ahead and go ahead and drill down again. He's close to being out of the line. We might be able to get out of it. He's in the other line. That's, that's okay. Yep. Yep, that's fine. Oh no. A different fish? Oh, here, 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 here. Ah, uh, dang it. Which way does it go? Hey, bring the rod towards me, Shannon. Okay. 
supposed to line up. Right. That's what happened. You got that? Here, I got it. Yep, yep, there you go. You're doing good. We're gonna tighten this one back up a little bit more. Put it back on the rod holder. Doing good, Shannon, doing good. Oh yeah, nice golden cart. We want to go put our car seat. So you can help me. How you know the net? You good? That's a pretty one too. Yeah, he's gonna have a pull. Get ready. I'm gonna go put her in the car seat. Actually, no, I can't do that to her. Now here's the tricky part. I got a baby in one hand and my net in the other hand. Can we get this fish? There we go. Fish in the net. Here's Shana's fish. Beautiful carp has been attacked by something, whether it be a bow, an arrow, or a fish, who knows. But uh, we're gonna get a release on it. You wanna say anything to it? Thank you for letting me catch you. you wanna let Josie touch it? Nah. Nah, all right. And there she goes. We didn't weigh it, but I would guess it's probably about 16. It's a little bit smaller than that buffalo. Still a good fish. Not Shana's PB. Shana's PB is 17. But fish is fish. Well, y'all, we're finishing packing up. Mommy Yak and Baby Yak are already in the car. Say goodbye. Pack up the rest of the rods. I always do those last because you never know when there's last minute fish. But did some carp fishing today, caught one carp, caught one buffalo, lost several fish. But, you know, used the normal technique, pre-baited a couple of days before. Well, actually, I, we only did yesterday. Actually, did yesterday morning, yesterday evening, and then today. So it wasn't even that long of a baiting campaign. Still had some fish come in. Still did well. Not a lot of weeds yet. This spot will only get better as the weeds come in. And uh, hopefully we get on some more fish soon. So, yeah, we'll see you all next time on the Extra Outdoors.